So one of the things about gardening season that I hated is that I had a mandolin that I would use to make french fries with. And that works okay if you're making a few french fries at a time. But if you're making a lot of french fries, you need something a little bit quicker and a little bit more efficient. So a couple years ago I bought this. I've only used it once. But I'm getting ready to use it again. And I only used it when I was doing cancer recovery. So I barely even remember using it. But anyways, this makes it really easy. You can get these off of Amazon. You can get them in a quarter inch screen, a three eighths and a half inch screen. So if you like thin french fries, you'd want to go the quarter inch. If you like thick french fries, you'd want to go the half inch. If you like them somewhere in between, you want to go the three eighths. You can buy them in a kit. This one actually came with the three eighths and the half inch. And then I added on the quarter inch. And I'm going to show you how to make zucchini fries, which I make a whole lot of. And I also make them and freeze them to use later in the year. And I'll show you how to do that. It's a very simple recipe. All you're going to need is one egg, some uh, garlic powder, some salt and pepper, some zucchini, and also some kind of cheese. A lot of people use Parmesan, but I'm currently out of Parmesan or I can't find the bottle. So I'm going to use pepper jack or something else. Gonna try to do this where you can see. Again, this is super easy to do. And I'm not even actually gonna put these on with tools. I'm just gonna do a finger tight because that will work good enough for what I'm getting ready to do. That's all there is to it. Now what I'm actually setting up to do zucchini fries in this, what I try to do is I want them to be about four or five inches long. So something like that. And then I want this one to also be about four or five inches long. So something like that. And then I cut that end off of the one end, something like that. And that is basically all that I'm doing. Then I put this in here like this. I push. Normally I have a, let me get that real quick. I normally have like some sort of a... to catch everything as it comes out something like that and then you just lift this up and out comes your fries from the other side just like this so i'll go ahead and readjust this camera so you can see that so I've got that sitting on a countertop. On a cutting board, I put the zucchini in. I actually just shoved the zucchini through like this. And we are done. I will leave links to this in the description. If you don't have one of these, you want to get one because that's way faster. Like my mandolin, I'd sit there and I would have been moving that cutter or moving the uh, handle up and down. I don't know, however many, you know, probably 30 or 40 times to get that cut. And it did one zucchini that quick. So let's go on with the recipe now that you know how this works. Again, this is super nice. You'll want to get you one for sure. And uh, let's go on with the recipe. Back to our recipe. Egg goes in a bowl. You want to put you some garlic powder in there. Then you want to do some salt and pepper. 
you are going to take and whisk this together, making sure everything is mixed up good. You're going to take and preheat your oven to 425. And while that is happening, go ahead and take you a cookie sheet and line it with parchment paper. And then you're basically going to take, or this is the way I do it, I take my zucchini and I stick it in a bowl. And then I use a fork to make sure that it's coated well. Then I transfer from the bowl onto the parchment paper. If you have some tongs, it'll make it go way, way faster. Then we're going to go in the oven for 20 minutes. Part of the way through the cooking process, you do want to spin them over. It ain't got to be perfect. You got to take these out, flip them one more time. And put your oven on broil. And I usually like to do a few minutes per side. And what I do, I just sprinkle a little bit on this while the tray and everything is still hot. Fit for a king.